start with a slip knot and chain 6 one single crochet in the second chain from the hook this one one single crochet each in the next three stitches Now in this last stitch make 3 single crochets Now turn your work and start working on the opposite side 1 single crochet in each stitch until the last stitch And take this yarn in along with the working yarn Now in this last stitch make 3 single crochets and make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. Next on start with chain 1 this won't be counted as a stitch now make 2 single crochets in each and every stitch around. This is the first stitch, mark it with a stitch marker. One more single crochet in the same stitch. Two single crochets in the next stitch. Now repeat this in each stitch, two single crochets in each and every stitch. Once you reach the end, make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. Next round, chain 1. Again, this won't be counted as a stitch. One single crochet in each and every stitch. Start the next stitch in the same stitch. Mark the stitch with a stitch marker. Now continue with one single crochet in each and every stitch. Once you reach then do not make a slip stitch, now we are working in continuous rounds. Now make 5 rounds of 1 single crochet in each and every stitch. Do not make a slip stitch, directly start working on the next stitch. Mark it with a stitch marker. This is how it will look and once you reach the end make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet and weave up your yarn. The first part is made now we'll be making the second part. Start with a slip knot. and chain 5 one single crochet in the second chain from the hook this one one single crochet each in the next two stitches and three single crochets in this last stitch Now turn your work and start working on the opposite side. One single crochet each in the next two stitches. Chain 
and three single crochets in this last stitch. Make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. Next on, start with chain 1. Again, this one we counted as a stitch. Two single crochets in each and every stitch. Mark the first stitch with a stitch marker. One more single crochet in the same stitch. And repeat two single crochets in each and every stitch. Once you reach the end, make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. Next on, chain 1. Again, this one be counted as a stitch. One single crochet in each and every stitch. Mark the first stitch with a stitch marker. Same as the first part, you will be working in continuous rounds. Do not make a slip stitch once you reach the end. Now make 5 rounds of 1 single crochet in each and every stitch. Once you reach then make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. This is how it will look. Now we will be joining these two parts. To join first turn both the parts inside out like this. Place both the parts like this. And we'll be joining these two ends. Make one slip stitch in both the parts. This is how it should look. If you wish you can leave it as it is or else you can make a hanging loop. To make the hanging loop chain 10. And make a slip stitch into the bottom stitch and weave off your yarn. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.